Y'all ready for this? Alright guys, this is what I've been working on here lately. I've been trying to get this done and finished up. I went over to Home Depot. I got these enclosures here. Just the PVC enclosure boxes. Drilled three holes in and on this end. Drilled three holes in and on this end. And how this is going to go is, I'm going to come out of my batteries into the BMS, out of the BMS into here. The three BMS is going to go into the bottom. And then I have three coming out of the top. I put one extra one in here. So if I add another 5048, on it'll already be set up to where I can have one, two, three grounds coming off to each one. And these is what I'm using one out wires. The one out wires will go through here just like that and attach directly onto the onto the bus bars. Now I got these here. A buddy of mine's gave me these. He works at a scrap yard. And he said they have a lot of different types of copper. See how thick that is? This is pure copper that comes out of out of different breaker boxes and transfer switches and stuff, he said. Here's another piece that he gave to me. Nice thick, thick piece of copper. And uh I already made one of mine for for my positive. But let me show you how this is going to go. This is going to drop in right here like that. Then this one is going to drop in on this side like that. This fits in pretty snug. Then this here is my shunt. The shunt is going to sit on there. Got to get this adjusted. The shunt will drop down on there just like that. Then you bolt the shunt down. shun a boat down just like that and as of now only well let me go back let me go back because I forgot right now all I have is just this right here It'll be a wire hooked up just like this, but I'm just using this for an example. The wire come right in. It'll set down on there like that. I got another one coming in, set down on there. Then you drop the shunt on, and then you can screw the shunt down. And once you tighten that down, that's how it would look. Let's raise this camera up a little bit. That's how it will look after it's done. You come out of my Renogy screen, plugs in right here, and then you got a power line that comes in right there and this little green fitting right down there at the bottom. That feeds the, the screen power. And then this is the shunt measuring how much power is going, how many amps and volts is going from this to this one over here. And then once you do that, you can drop your lines on. Well, this right here, I have a line hooked to it, so that'll go to one BMS. Then we got this one here. It'll go in just like that. 
bam, put your washer on, and then that'll tighten down on there just like that. And everything will be mounted in the box. This here is red. This is red, but I don't have another black one. I got it in in there on the batteries and I don't want to go disconnected. I just want to show you how everything is going to go. Put you on tight in this one. Stick the line up in there. Drop it on there. Tighten this down. And that's how it'll go. Everything will be inside of the box. The shunner will be in there, bolted down. You'll have three. You have a hop, I mean a, a ground here. Uh-oh, my might not be able to see. You have a ground going in right here. You have a ground here and ground here. Each one of these will hook to the BMS, come out, and then you'll come out of the top. This here will be one ground going to one inverter this here is the other ground going to another inverter and this will be going to my third inverter but that's only if I add another one so I'll only be using just the two just these two outside ones for right now I won't need these two up under this shunt here because I only got two inverters right now and two BMS's so that's how that's going to go and once you bolt it using your little feet right here you bolt it up on the wall and then you can put your cover over it and that's how it'll look.